everyone. Yeah, welcome back once again in our class today. My name is Victor Odigomo here, and uh, we are still looking at elevations and depressions. We are still taking some example questions from this uh, topic. Remember, before now, we have been able to do a lot of uh, topics across uh, all level mathematics, and uh, I trust God that uh, you can check out on all those classes. And I want to thank those of you who have been able to subscribe to the channel. And um, I so much appreciate your gesture. You know, of course, you are trying to tell us that what you're doing is good. And those of you who have not subscribed to the channel, I have to tell you that you need to subscribe to the channel. One is for you to be able to assess over 100 classes you've been able to put up there online. And the second one is for you to be of an encouragement to us because uh, you have to do so. Thank you so much for subscribing. It's not quite difficult. It's just down there, you click on the subscription button down there. All right. In this class, we want to look at this um, question that says uh, the lens. I'm going to append it there. You look at it. Why I read from here? You say the lens of two ladders. There are two ladders, L and M, are 10 meters and 12 meters, respectively. So L should take 10 meters and M should take 12 meters, respectively. It says they are placed against a wall such that each ladder makes same angle with the horizontal ground. It says if the foot of L, which is the first one, uh, is 8 meters from the foot of the wall, say so draw a diagram to illustrate this information to calculate the height of which M touches the wall. So I want to put up this, the diagram that will best explain uh, this question we have here, and then we'll see how we can be able to calculate the question they gave there. So quickly, assuming, take note, you can position, you can face the, the work can take either here or in your answer script, okay? Or in it, how you want to solve it. So, but I want to put it like this. Assuming this is the wall, and this is the horizontal ground. And this is the horizontal ground. So I want to put position the first ladder, okay, within somewhere here. Let me, mustn't be too distant. Let me just have it like this. Okay. Let this be the first ladder and this be the second ladder. Okay. Okay. So, uh, let me look at this and see the other information they have here. So they say that according to this question, the length of two letters L and M are 10 meters and 12 meters respectively. So like I said, L will be 10 meters. So L is 10 meters. Ladder L, this will be 10 meters, the first one. And then, of course, this longer one should be 12 meters. It's not quite something that one should argue that this should be longer and should have the longer length. Okay. And then both lean against the vertical wall and each makes the same angle. Of course, this angle here, if I call here A, this angle will also be A by correspondence. Of course, this angle is corresponding to this angle. Uh, if you know much about corresponding angles, you understand what I'm saying there. And then uh, each ladder makes the same angle with the horizontal ground. If the foot of L is 8 meters, so L, which is 10 meters, uh, let me label L here. Let me call here L for the purpose of identification. And let me label here M for the purpose of identification. Okay? And then if the foot of this is 8 meters from, let me now call here capital N, and let's say T, Let's say W. Uh -huh. That point in which this M touches the wall. Let me call it W. So they said the foot of this L is 8 meters away from the wall. 
think there's no other thing needed here. The next thing to do now is to do the calculation. The first calculation there is calculate the height of. Okay, draw a diagram to illustrate the information. I think this diagram is okay to explain the information. And then the next question they ask is calculate the height at which M touches the wall. Calculate the height at which M touches the wall. That is to say that we are expected to calculate just like saying have I, I. Of course, I is diagram. We have been able to put up that. And I, I is cal calculate, calculate NW. Get? So that is what we are expected to do. So what do we do now? What are we going to do? The first thing we, we, we are likely going to do is, like I keep on saying, is you try to see how you can be able to assess the solution to this problem. But if you watch out with me, you will see that having known here and here, I can be able to calculate this angle. Here, I can be able to calculate this angle. And if I know this angle, I know this one. And from this angle, I can calculate WL. Did you see how I was able to you know, bring it into balance? All right, so quickly, I am going to say solving for A, solving for angle A, okay? So, you see, we reference to this angle. This is the adjacent, and this is the hypotenuse, and the ratio of both will give you the cosine of that. I'm still going to take time to go into trigonometry one to do a lot of classes, you know, there, so that some of these things will be well explained. So, you see that, I will say cos A is equals to adjacent over hypotenuse and cos, cos A, it's like I'm using another letter now, cos A is equals to 8, 8 over 10, and 8 over 10 is um, 4 over 5, at 0 0.8. So I have cos A equals to 0 0.8. So A is equals to cos inverse of 0 0.8. Okay? Cos inverse of 0 0.8. Let me check what is going to give us. Okay? Cos inverse of 0 0.8 will give us a 36.86 degree 36.86 degrees so a is equals to 36.86 degrees uh did they say approximate here if the foot of l is eight meters from the foot of the wall draw a diagram of the so she calculate the height the height at which so they didn't give any information has it has to do with approximation so what we do is i can just decide to take it to you know, one place of uh, this decimal. Let me just have a equals to 36 point, let's say, 9 degrees. I think that's okay. I think they didn't, they didn't say take it to the nearest degree. So I can just leave it like this. Um, the next thing is, um, okay, we are still working on calculating, um, calculating the height at which this second ladder this longest ladder touches the wall now we have been able to get this angle here which corresponds to this so i will continue and say can i call this a1 and call this a2 i will say since since a1 equals to a2 bracket corresponding corresponding angles they are equal i will now say from triangle the bigger triangle w n m w n m on this triangle w n m okay you realize that you realize that this angle is known and this side is known 
So from that triangle, like look at it, something like this. Hmm? So you are just like overlooking this is W, this is N, and this is M. And this angle here now is 36.9 degrees. And this is 12. So it's just like you are looking for something sort of X or anything you can call it. So you see that with this now, I can be able to know the ratio um, of the this thing I'm going to use. Eh? The trigonometric ratio I'm going to use here is sine because I have the opposite side and the hypotenuse side. So I am going to say, okay, solving for solving for eh, solving for W N. I will say sine 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 thirty six. 0.9 degrees equals to opposites. I have already called here. Let me just use that letter I put there. X. Opposite of uh, hypotenuse. Okay? So, you know, at this point, I will cross multiply. And if I cross multiply, I'm going to have that X equals to 12 sine 36.9 degrees so my x is equals to huh? sine 36.9 is equals to 0.6004 so i have 12 times 0.6004 hope i'm correct there yeah 0.6004 times 12 times 12 times 12 that's 7.2 so x is equal to 7.2 and they didn't say to the nearest meter so you just leave it like that even to just this one decimal place is okay so you attach the unit of measurement which is meter so the height at which this ladder m touches this wall is at you know, that is the same thing as NW. Eh? Equals X equals to 7.2 meters. So, it's, uh, it's, it's 7.2 meters. So, we have been able to calculate this WN. So, I'm sure that is very, very okay and wonderful. I trust God that this explanation to this question is a wake examinable question is okay and i have been able to you know um give us a detailed explanation on that please this is not the end of it we are still going to take more examples on these elevations and depressions all you have to do is just to subscribe to the channel just the subscription button there just click on it it doesn't take anything more just click on it and you will stay abreast of all our development every post we are going to put up you'll be notified as well if you click on the notification button be notified that we have been able to upload something and you check out on it in preparation for whatever examination or mathematics or level you want to write please do that and when you do you are not going to regret thank you for being there